welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you all about My PPL, which is a very useful feature of the Portland Public Library website. My PPL is your own personal digital dashboard where you can keep track of the items that you have checked out and ones that you have on hold. It lets you keep track of items that you have already borrowed from the library, and logging into My PPL will allow you to place items on hold as well. There are a ton of great features that My PPL provides, so we highly recommend that you use it to your full advantage. The first thing that you want to do is navigate to the library's website. You can do so by typing www.portlandlibrary.com into the URL at the top of your browser. Once you've made it to the website, you can find the login button to My PPL at the upper right hand corner of your screen, right here. Click login slash My PPL, and then click on the login slash register button right below it. This will bring you to the login page where you will enter your library card barcode and your PIN number. If you don't know what your PIN number is, give the library's lending or reference desks a call and we can quickly reset it for you. So this is your library dashboard. Think of it as your own personal library profile. From here, there are many different things that you can do. Firstly, you need to be logged into My PPL in order to request books from the library website to be placed on hold for you. If you'd like to learn more about how to do this, check out the Portland Public Library's How to Request an Item video. You can find that video by clicking on How Do I Find Materials on the library's website. One of the most useful features of My PPL is your ability to keep track of the items you have checked out, the items you have on hold, and your borrowing history. You will find these options under the My Borrowing panel of your library dashboard right here. If you click on Checked Out, it will bring you to this page that has all of your current checkouts listed. From here, you can see how long until your items are due, and you can even renew your items as well. To do so, click on the black Renew button next to your item. You can also keep track of the progress that you've made on your checked out items on this page as well. Using this menu, you can set the status of your item as in progress, for later, or completed. Doing so will add the title to the corresponding library shelf on your library dashboard. We'll get more into that later. You can also rate items on a scale of 1 to 5 stars depending on how well you liked it. On the My Borrowing panel, you can also see what items you have placed on hold. Click on the On Hold button to bring you to your hold screen. As you can see here, I have two books that I've requested to be placed on hold. This first book here is ready for me to pick up at the library, which I can tell because it says ready over here on the right hand side. This book isn't ready yet, which I can tell because it says not ready. If I change my mind and decide that I don't want to request this book, I can cancel the hold by pressing this button. I also have the option to pause the hold by pressing this button. Doing this allows you to keep your place in line, but lets the book skip over you until you are ready for it. Let's say that you're number one in line for a hot title and you've been waiting for it for months and you're leaving for a two-week vacation tomorrow. You can pause this hold, then unpause it when you come back and you'll still be number one in line. Another really useful feature of My PPL is the ability to see what you've checked out in the past. You can see this by clicking on Borrowing History under the My Borrowing panel. This is really helpful if you want to make sure that you don't accidentally check out a book that you've already read. For privacy reasons, this feature is disabled by default when you open a library card. If you'd like to enable it, you can click on the black button in the upper right hand corner, click My Settings, and then change your borrowing history preference here. You can update your account information, other preferences, or privacy options on the settings page as well. My PPL also allows users to organize their collection of library items with the shelves feature. Click the black button and scroll down to My Collections. Here you can see the different shelves that you can place items from the library collection onto. I'll click on one of the shelves and it will take me to the appropriate page. Earlier I changed the status of an item that I had checked out to completed. As you can see that item now appears on my completed shelf. I can view my other shelves by clicking on the corresponding button on the My Shelves bar. Items that I've designated to a shelf will stay there indefinitely, even after I've checked them back in. This is a useful way to keep track of books that I've completed or made progress on and may want to check out again in the future. Items that are on a shelf can be interacted with in additional ways. You can rate the item on a scale from 1 to 5 stars by clicking on the corresponding star here. You can also add a comment to the item that other My PPL users can see. If you really enjoyed a book or movie, consider leaving a short review in the form of a comment. 
You can also add tags to the item, which are searchable keywords that attach to the item's record. Adding tags to an item might make it easier for other users to find it if they do a search for that particular tag. Tags can be words that describe the genre, tone, or theme of the item. You can add personal tags as well if you'd like, which are only visible to you and may help you in organizing your shelves. You can also add quotations from the item here if a particular quote really resonated with you that you'd like to share. Thank you for watching this tutorial video about how to use MyPPL. Remember, you can always call the library's lending or reference desks and we will be happy to answer any questions you may have about how to use this feature.